Welcome back to my channel, dear friends. This is Taz from Taslima Maya Art. Thank you so much for joining me on my acrylic pouring, fluid art and mixed media channel. I appreciate you. My new times will be on Sunday from 4pm EST, that's 9pm UK. I also air on Texture Thursdays with Oak by Bettina on Thursday at 5pm UK, that's 12pm EST. And don't forget that up after me is the wonderful Lance from Lance's Fluid Fusion and you'll see his link in my description box below. My deepest gratitude does go out to my Patreon and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys all so much for help supporting this channel. Love you. So this week we're back in my home studio and I've got part two of the little workshops that I ran from home over the summer holidays and this time I'm going to be doing bloom coasters. So we've got a yeah. 10 centimetre by 10 centimetre tile and we're going to do a practice bloom today. So blooms have got three layers. There's a layer at the bottom called the pillow. They call it the pillow because it's like where all the other colours are cushioned. Mm -hmm. They're cushioned on top. Pillow is, normally is slightly thick, yeah. okay, on a thicker side of things, just so that it supports the colours. Mm -hmm. um, if it's too thin, if it's too watered down, what will happen is you blow it out, it will look stunning. 10 minutes later you come back to look at it and it would have all been swallowed mm -hmm. okay because the, the thicker coloured paints sink into the pillow because it's too thin so there's a lot of things to think about it, it is quite complicated the first is is the pillow thick enough if yeah. the consistency is off it just might look great but then it's not and you've lost it lost yeah. the whole thing if it is it too thick if it's too thick it's impossible to blow anything over the top of it because it just kind of just rigid yeah. you know um and okay so that's the first layer Okay, let's talk about pillow. What do what we use for pillow over in the UK? So in the States they use lots of paint, actually the tin, they're very lucky. In Australia, they use a pillow paint as well, but they have two, just two different types. They, their pillow is perfect straight up to the tin. Mm -hmm. Our pillow, which I found out this works, we're doing lots of test ones of like 15 sure. different paints. And I found this one works, there's another two that work. Homebase didn't work, Homebase's right. own brand, because Homebase's brand has got some enamel in it and enamel eats your colours. Oh, right. Okay, so you end up with that ghost thing I showed you. You end up with that. If you like this, then fine. But yeah, sure. that actually had a load of colours there. It's oh, eating right, the so colours up. Okay. Okay, because the pillow was like, oh, I'm going to eat those colours. Yeah, Took it away. Yeah. Ended up white. Okay. Sure. People love this type of thing as well. Yeah. Ghost blooms, they call them. Um, so they use enamel paint on purpose. But yeah. basically, when the home base one had enamel in it, I didn't realise I bought a massive tub of it. Wasted the whole lot of after doing the test, and I thought, oh, well, leave it. But this paint I found works. Another couple of them you work with. Wilco's. Um, Wilco's on brand works. Yeah. Um, and so which they sell now in the range. Yes, yeah. They've bought all their excess yeah. stuff. Yeah, and there's a couple of those that work. But yeah, so this one works fast as well. Like cheaper ships, mm -hmm. you just pick that up. Yeah, yeah. Date, probably. Um, and you do need to mix water with this, okay? So I do have some mix, stuff which I did earlier today. I think there's a lot of crap with this. But I mixed some up in here. I added, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of water to fill it down. So it's not too thick, it might not be enough, but we'll see now. Mm -hmm. So that's what the consistency looks like. Sure, okay. Um, it's like double cream. <laughs> yeah. um, what you don't want is bubbles in your paint. Sure. Now, I bought a couple of tins of pillow paint from different brands, different places, B&Q, etc. And it's, I've just not been able to use it because even though they don't shake it up, um, they it comes with a ton of bubbles in it and you're like, oh, that's annoying because sure. what happens then is you've got a beautiful bloom drying yeah. and they start popping, start popping and then all the colours have got lots of measles on it yeah. and your whole bloom's got lots of measles on it and you don't want that because it ruins the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things to look out for is check for bubbles. If there's too many bubbles, there are tricks to get rid of the bubbles. Um, like adding a ton of water and letting it sit open for days on end oh. and mixing it every day, mm. you know, and getting those bubbles out. Mm. That's a pain in the butt. Yeah, so know. I've got this one, didn't have any bubbles, perfect. Okay, that's the pillow. That's the first layer I'm going to do. Second layer. Now there's two options, or three, two, lots of different options for you depending on what products you can get your hands on. So the first option is this one as the pouring medium. This is a weight chalk, mm -hmm. okay, and you can pick it up, most paint, quite a lot of paint purposes to sell this, um, or online. Um, I think it's £20, okay. this, yeah, roughly. Um, and you mix that in with your tube paint mm -hmm. or your Mm. Yep. So your colours have to be mixed with a pouring medium, pouring medium can be that, yep. or the pouring medium can be um, this, some of this, which is from the 
counter where they mix the paint. Oh, uh, B and Q. Yes. Yep. Um, there's a difference between the two, I'll tell you why. And some of this, which I had imported from the States, so I couldn't get hold of it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it cost me a bit to get it imported. And this is um, triple thick polyurethane gloss varnish type of thing. They use it to varnish things. Mm. So, and the reason for that mixed with this is because the UK sell this, but it's like water. If I show you inside, sure. if yeah. I mix my tube paints with this, I'm going to need five tubes yeah. to get the consistency okay. I need because it needs to be thick. Yeah. And I'm going to waste a ton of expensive, of they cost like four, five pounds, six yeah. pounds a tube. Yeah, it's sure. too costly. Yeah. So to thicken it, look how watery it is. It's yeah, like it is, milk. Yeah. It's terrible. In the states, in the, um, in, the, in America and in Australia, they have no problem. They have something similar to this, which is super thick. Okay. All they do is have water. Sure. So they're good to go. Yeah. Right, so it's the hyal base, though, that interior gloss. Would you mean oil based? Well, gloss is usually, yeah. you know, oil based. Where you have to oh, use oil based. Oil based. I meant oil based. Then I was oil. like, oh no, oil based. Um, so if you're mixing water with it, it's got to be water based. Then. You can mix water with this, it's perfectly fine to mix water with this. So this particular paint isn't actually paint paint. Okay. What it is, is paint before they added any colour to it. Oh, okay. Right, so it's semi-transparent, the base. The base. Yeah, sure. that's why it says you know, like when you buy it in a paint and you get that clear liquid on the top yes. and you stir it in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's what that so is. when you go to the, this is the problem I had yeah. last two, a year and a half ago. Um, everyone told me, oh, this is likely to work, go and get it. So I went to be in Cuban Newport. And they were like, nah, we don't sell that to you. Mm. And we only sell it mixed up with the colour. I said, well, mm. I don't want it with the colour. And they yeah. refused to sell it to me. Mm. So we had a whole argument, got the manager down. I was like, look, I'm an artist. I'm yeah. going to mix my own colour. Well, we can't sell it to you. So we had this whole palaver of this. Mm. They refused to sell it. So I went to another one. Um, they were the same. So they went on the forums. Everyone was like, yep, yeah, they won't sell to you. And they really put your foot down. And then... Um, then suddenly they stopped selling it. Mm. Okay, this is a long story. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. so they stopped selling it everywhere. They they, just, they put a stop to selling this. Mm. Um, so I couldn't get it anyway. Anyway, yeah. so I ended up driving by. I can't remember where I went now. Somewhere very far out of town. It took me a couple of hours to drive there to get <laughs> one that they said yeah. it was in that particular place. Sure. Um, luckily, I managed to get hold of it, get it out, and, and get it out uh, to get it home. But when I opened it, I realised, oh my god, it's nothing like I was supposed to be, it's super thin. You know? And again, from pot to pot, it differs. I had yeah. one which was thick, which was good. Okay. This one is thin, it's not good, but I can't sure. really take it back, I've opened it. Yeah. yeah. So we have all those problems. But anyway, what we do is I mix um, this in, because this is super thick. It's also gloss varnish, it comes from the States, so I mix a bit of that, a bit of that, mix it together, add my paint tube, tube paint to it, mm -hmm. and get it to the consistency I need. We can do it with these, or we can do it with these two today. It's up to you. We do need to get mixing soon. So those are our colours. We'll go with that, I think. You want Just because that's, it's, if that's easier to get hold of than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll go for that one. But then, if you can do it with that, that's fine. The only thing I would say is the best blooms are with these two. It's sort of lawyer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by that is... Um, well, making it yeah, yeah. They look slightly prettier, but not that much difference. Sure. Um, this one would be good to test to see if this works. It should work. I think I did do a video on it. My memory is terrible. I'm pretty sure I did a video with this and it worked, and I was like, why have I been mapping about mm. with these two? So, yeah, let's try that today then. Yeah. Um, I did have this stuff already poured out for you, but that's why I didn't so many, so many, I find that so many videos of, of people doing this is American based. On, on Facebook, for example, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even on, you know, on Google, yeah. it's American. So that's the second layer. Second layer, first layer, second layer, third layer. Third layer, I'll show you from top. Okay. However, you can still do it with PVA and water, yeah. as long as you use a particular brand of paint, which is very high density. Okay, so Amsterdam paints are high density. They're online, yeah. Amsterdam, they look like the ones in the range, they look very similar, haven't they? Can, but they're cheaper online, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for the sales. They are expensive paints, they're, you know, quite expensive paints. Yeah. Um, but you, don't, you only need a tiny bit to yeah. be honest. If you were using Mika powders instead, or yes, would you like just mix it until it dissolves? Completely different. Yeah. Let's do this with the mm -hmm. tubes today. Yeah, sure. We'll do this today. And the final layer is the cell activator, which is a misleading name. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't actually activate any cells. Mm -hmm. So we are going to mix that up as well. So you're going to mix that up as well because you need some black. I've got some white already mixed up here. So I'm going to do a test run. Um, but we need some colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's your. Give that a good shake and open it up. Um, grab some tube colours. Um, one opaque and any two other colours. Okay. Opaque is the, the one with the blocked up. Says on yeah. If it helps buying stuff from the states, there is a limit where you won't pay tax to 
the English government when it comes into the country. Oh, right. Now, in end of 2020, I think it was £165. Right. So, if there was a number of people... I don't know that. That's really yeah. interesting. Yeah, not to, yeah. That percentage may have... Yeah, we're gonna put this down. Yeah. Oh goodness, that's not. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's very different this um, Rachel stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people put it in puddles, other people put it in like blotches everywhere. And what we use in the black? Mm. Okay, I hope that's not so we can use this with on the resin pieces you see and then instead of wood and wax because it's a lovely colour isn't it yeah. main thing, and then have resin yeah. off that you can see some bubbles on this and this is not working for me Oka, Oka is yellow yeah I think a picture of that yeah, one I remember it now. there we go so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this now and see what happens yep too much wobbly so I'm just waiting and looking at it a little halo around it yep slight halo I find I go a bit lightheaded when I'm doing it. <laughs> get that yeah. quick. Yeah. So these cells here have got a hint of that gold in there. Yeah. Yeah, they have yeah. 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 But again, layering matters. What order you put opaque next to transparent next to pigments matters. Yeah. Practice and doing little test runs like this. It's actually pretty. quite like it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, start spinning it in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll see if that spreads out a bit more. But again, I think my pillow paint is slightly thick, which is why it's not spreading out. Yeah, much. sure. Um, if that had a tad bit more water in it, probably would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, should you, should you put some more in there? I can do, yep. Can I'll do. separate some. Well, I would actually put a little bit in there in a minute. I'll do that for you in a minute. So, um, yeah, that's really pretty. Ooh, very pretty. So, we're going to spin that out now. Make sure it's kind of leveled out. Very pretty. Spinning is fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the one thing oh, I'm yeah. doing. Let's get it to the edges. <laughs> Let's hope it gets to the edges. So it is beautiful. Now, when you use this, you said you you could use it as skin. So what would you do? To make, so yes. it, it bonds to it properly. Would you scratch it a little bit? That's, that's stunning, isn't it? See? Gorgeous. Mm. Oh wow! Yes, and you can go with the skew and make it into a flower. Or you can just leave it alone. Mm. <laughs> um, and or you can that's make that into a coaster and sell yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it is gorgeous, but again, different yeah, colours make different comp different colour combinations make different blooms. Like if you have the same colours mm. and you put them on different places on them, they're all going to be different, aren't they? Yes, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love those because I might I do one that, after this. Thanks. So yeah, I'll do one of those after this. Like so. This is what I did with this. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. this one is what I did. You can see purple, pink, yeah. green, yellow. yellow. Yeah. yeah. This is why I did it that way, but I was just playing around. So yeah, that is just amazing. Yeah. And one thing I would say is, if your bloom messes up the next day it might be because you left too much paint on it okay because leaving too much paint in it makes the color sink in and disappear as well yeah, sure. so the best thing is to put less the less of that the better but as long as it still spreads out you have to find the yeah you have to find the middle ground there and again if you spin it as much as possible and then if i get a skewer now and check oh how much paint have i got left in it if it seems like, like a lot yeah. it's likely to change overnight sure. you want to make sure you leave it um, so as thin as possible yeah. without ruining Evenly your pattern. Yeah. yeah, without ruining your pattern. I really like that, it's really pretty. Yeah. Um, let's do one more. <laughs> um, so I really want it to go to the edge. So would you, know, would you key this up at all, rough it up, before you, because you no. said you could take it off off? Um, no, you can't take it off, it really struggle to get it off. Oh, good, that's okay. Yeah, you do struggle to get it off. And when you resin it, it's never coming off. Yes, right. Yeah. So, Mm, yeah, so it depends what you're doing. If you do a coaster, yeah. you would resin it, really. Yeah, uh, I probably would resin them, but like I say, it's, it's beautiful as it is, you know? Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, that doesn't come off. I mean, these are resins. None of these are resins. No. They don't come off, look. Yeah. get it off and, and the resin I use now, glass cast, I mean, it's expensive. It's 500 quid for 30 litres. Yeah. But it's my go-to resin, and it's just, you just put it on. It's beautiful, fantastic. That's resin. I yeah, didn't yeah. do it. Uh -huh. It is resin. Um, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. My husband nice wants one. to have a go at doing this, this effect. But it takes 20,000 volts, so I said no. Yeah. But do you know what we just found out? What have you just we found out that I was right that we can use. Yeah. We don't need all the stupid, expensive stuff, yeah. a 50 yeah. pound a tin. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, we just need this. It works. 
Yeah. Like an advert and cut. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just needed reminding that I did actually yeah. do it. I did do this previously as a video, but I forgot about sure. it. So I couldn't remember if I actually made it work, but yeah. it does work. So yeah, so that's your it's your turn now guys. So oh, oh, pizza. Do we need um, to stand it on anything? Do we see um, you don't need to. How can we lift it to spin? You just use your palette knife, but oh, yeah. Yeah. you just use a palette knife and then put your finger under that side that you're lifting and then up. Yeah, it's, it takes practice. But you can put it on a pot if you wish. This one is a pot here you want to use. I sometimes do that. Yeah, I do. Thank you. No problem. I do hope you enjoy watching this video so far. This is an extremely challenging technique and really difficult to teach to complete beginners and this was the first class doing it. Um, but here are some more that I did in the demo workshop part of it that I didn't show you. And these cells are beautiful peacock cells that came out, so seriously stunning. And also these cells dried really well too. So my dear viewers, here are some examples of the blooms that my workshop attendees blew out today and to be honest I'm quite surprised how really well they did for it being their first ever time trying this technique. Here are the tiles and they can't wait to try it again. Thank you so much for watching. Up next is Lance's Fluid Fusions. See you there.